everyone, so this is everything I'll be using today. And if you'd like to hear more about the Tinsay Chanel gel line, I'll leave it all down below. But let's get started. So since I'm going to be using some press-on nails, I always like to make sure they fit me properly and sometimes I do need to file it down but once I figured it fits me perfectly, I'll go ahead and start to shape it. I did start off with more of a cotton nail but then I ended up doing more of a almond oval shape. to marble design there is no right or wrong way to do it you really just want to play around and see what works best with you for me I did have a lot of trial and error but I found that this method basically gave me the looks that I was trying to go for so I did start off with some darker lines but as I go along they start to be a little more faint because we're working with a base coat that is really thick it really helps to blend out the color when I need to and make it look like there are different shades within the marble design which I love and as I go on I may end up using some white just to kind of eliminate the amount of black lines there are because for this design sometimes I think less is more but it's really up to you and your preference. lines and then I faded it out and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more darker lines just so the marble design is a little more defined. Now I'm gonna be moving on to my last nail. For this one I decided just to do less lines and make this one a little more simpler but make it still look really realistic. I'm gonna go in with the same idea with doing a few darker lines and then doing a few more that are more faint. So these are my final results. I hope you guys found this helpful. I really enjoyed doing this and if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, definitely comment down below or thumbs up this video and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!